Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll show you just a few capabilities of the all new TXB0 by Texa. This new tool was designed to put diagnostic capabilities in the hands of every marine technician. Instead of selling almost exclusively to the shop owners, we can now advertise to every technician and provide them with an affordable yet powerful scan tool. This is a loaded on your own PC and go package. We're going to jump over and hook up to a 16 foot well-craft Fisher with a 60 horsepower four stroke Mercury. All right guys, now we got the cover off. Um, a quick rule of thumb, it's very important. If you see this connector here, this terminator resistor, you need to make sure that you have the terminator cable running in line with the, with the standard diagnostic connector, okay? It's very important. You got the terminator connector here. Otherwise, um, you would see just a generic weather cap. If you see that, you can just use the regular cable. But if not, and you see this terminator resistor here, you need to make sure that you use the terminator cable, okay? It's very important. All right, now we're gonna move over to the wiring diagrams. And one thing that I really like about Texas wiring diagrams is each one of these is interactive. And what I mean by that is I can actually search around this diagram. So for example, if I didn't know where something was on this wiring diagram, for example, oil pressure switch or something like that, I can just go and select oil pressure switch and it's actually gonna take me directly to where the oil pressure switch is on this wiring diagram, which is gonna save the technician a ton of time. You also have the ability to look at an image. So this is gonna show you an image of the component. Um, it, the, that image could be rudimentary or a nice you know, full color picture like this. It really just kind of depends on the component and the comple complexity of the component. Another really cool feature that we have on these wiring diagrams is the ability to highlight the line. You can highlight the line and, and it's actually gonna show you the current flow along that line. So you can also look here at the connection information and it's also got your pinout information as well. Moving on, we have our technical data sheets. Um, this is technical information related to a, a multitude of different components. So whether it's the throttle lever switch unit, engine management switch module, um, you know, information about identifying the engine serial number and so forth. Next, we'll talk about guided diagnosis. This is an extremely useful function. So say we're chasing down a fault code related to cylinder to magnetic injector, okay? So we select that. What that's gonna do is it's gonna actually give us all of the information that we need to go and test to see if that component is faulty. It also includes your resistance values and some possible causes of that fault, whether or not you, know, you have a loose connection somewhere or you know, the component itself is, is damaged and needs to be replaced. Uh, last but not least, we have our technical data and maintenance. Um, so the first option that we have here is gonna be our timing belt. So this is gonna show you your timing belt routing. It's also gonna give you information about um, your tightening torques, um, what size bolts you need to use, and so on followed by the maintenance plan. Um, this is really key, so this is gonna show us our maintenance intervals. It's gonna tell us exactly what we need to do at our 30 hour service, at our 100 hour service or one year service, um, and also what we need to do at our 300 and 400 hour services. Lastly, we have our technical specifications. This is going to be anywhere from your engine displacement, um, your firing order, engine oil type, your fluid types, fluid capacities, tightening torques, tightening sequences, all of the relevant data that, that you really don't find unless you have your factory software solution. Okay, now that we've identified um, all of the functionality that we have here on the left side of the screen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a global system scan. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna go out and interrogate all of the modules that could be present on this vessel. Okay guys, um, as you can see, we're actually pulling up to the faults page. Um, that's the, one of the really cool features that I'd like to highlight with the Texas software. The layout and the flow of the software remains consistent no matter what vessel we're working on um, or what environment we're working on. So if we had 
marine software on this and, and we also had our power sport software so we could be hooked up to a utv or an atv or you know pwc doesn't matter um, the layout and the flow of the software remains consistent through all of those all right, so we've automatically defaulted to the faults page. Um, to the left, you can see parameters. So this is gonna be all of our live data. Um, if we go through here, we can double click and that's gonna bring it up into a graph mode. You simply double click, double click. And then if we'd like to see them go back down, you double click again. You can also go in and filter these. So if, for example, you're looking for, let's say we're chasing down an intermittent uh, voltage drop issue. So we can just type, start typing in volts right here. And the software automatically will recognize any data PID that's related to voltage. So we just go and we select each one of these. We hit our check mark. And now we have a new sub list of only voltage related data PIDs. Again, we can double click to see them in a the graph format, or we can actually take a recording. So if we needed to take uh, this vessel on a water test to, to determine why, why or when these issues are happening, we can do that. And it will actually allow you to record up to 30 minutes. So when you return from your water test, you can review all of the data and try to determine where you're having those issues. All right, guys, now we have our status page. Um, this is really just gonna be on off type of thing. So um, just the statuses of each one of these components, whether it's your gear position and so on. Um, ECU information, this is gonna be all of your hardware, software numbers, calibration ID, serial numbers, all of the types of information that's being pulled from the ECU. Next, we have our activations, and um, I like to say these are like uh, your light switch type of testing. So whether or not you know you want to turn your buzzer on, or you want to drop a cylinder, or turn on the fuel pump, those types of things, um, your your bidirectional testing. Um, so while we're here, I'll just go ahead and just give you an example of that. I'll turn on the buzzer. Um, so we hit confirm here, and as you can hear you know, the buzzer comes on. So it's really just, you know, simple tests like that to determine if uh, you have faulty components. All right, guys, last but not least, we have our settings page. Um, so there's two different uh, settings or parameters that we're uh, able to adjust here. Um, you've got your engine location settings. So if, for example, if we wanted to make this a dual engine setup, we could go ahead and do that and identify to the vessel, you know, where each engine is placed. Um, we also have our instrumentation configuration. So what this is gonna enable us to do, um, if you're running an analog setup and you wanna update it to a digital setup or an easy link system, provided the engine un enables you to do that um, and you wanted to update your dash settings, uh, this tool is gonna enable you to do that. All right guys, so now that we did a good rundown of uh, this Mercury 60, um, what, what we really wanted to do was show you the versatility of this TXB0. So as you can see behind me, we're gonna now hook up to this 2021 40 foot Invincible with with quad 400 mercury verados all right guys now that we got our software pulled up there's a couple different options that we have here so if you see on the left side of the screen we've got our special functions tab we've got our maintenance service we've got technical data sheets and we have technical data and maintenance what we're going to do now is we're going to do what's called a global system scan what that's going to do is it's actually going to go out and it's going to ping every module that could be fitted on this boat so in this case as we said before um, we got quad uh, Verado 400s. Um, we also have uh, lever controls, helm controls. Um, so let's go ahead and run this TGS scan and see what we get. So right here we have two different options. So we could either hook up um, at the junction box or we could hook up directly to the engine using um, our terminator cable. In this case, we hooked up to the junction box. Um, we're actually hooked up right in here. So if you see, can't really fit you in there, but anyways, on this specific model, you gotta, gotta crawl through there and, uh, and hook up to the junction box in there. Another really cool feature, um, <clears throat> so the Texas software actually includes a video that we can go, so if, you're, if you have uh, no idea where the uh, diagnostic connector is on this specific engine, all you gotta do is click the video, it'll play through, and it'll show you exactly where the diagnostic connector happens to be on this vehicle, on this boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so after the global system scan, you can see we can pull up each engine. 
We can pull up the starboard lever and helm control, port lever, helm control, internal starboard lever and helm control, and internal port lever and helm control. I'm not gonna go through each individual one of these, but as you can see, um, we jumped over to a 60 horsepower Mercury. Finally, we, all, we went all the way to this 2021 uh, Quad Mercury Verado 400. So the TXP Zero is a valuable addition to any shop or technician. Um, for the price point of only $1,500, basically the price of any smartphone, um, you're gonna have dealer level functionality from jet skis, wave runners, to regular pleasure boats, all the way up to this 40 foot Invincible with quad Mercury Verado 400s. So if you'd like to learn more about the TXB Zero, give us a call at 855-839-2626 to schedule a free demo. We'd love a chance to earn your business and thank you for watching.